Hi guys, Merry Christmas! Today we're going to talk about the one meal that Norwegians are actually looking forward to. Can you imagine? But guys, if you are with children, parental guidance is strongly recommended. And warning, warning, it's going to be strong scenes. And if you have a, a weak heart, please don't watch anymore. And I'm so sorry for all of you guys who will vomit what? or become uh, sick after watching this video I'm about the Norwegian sick. Christmas meal. Yeah. And here are the clue words. Caustic soda, very dangerous, but that's essential when it comes to one of our favorite Christmas meals. It's Etsy. It, it is really, and you mm. will be, uh, your hand will be... Uh, Shall you drink this? Yeah, you, it will just disappear if you have this on it. It's very strong. The other uh, dish that we are going to prepare is uh, based on twigs. This is really Norwegian frugality. Oh, twigs luxury. are essential. Yes. Uh, so these things are essential for one of the meals. And the last meal, uh, uh, you have to be blindfolded because what you are going to watch. What are you going to do? It, it's going to make a mark on you and you will probably never ever uh, not remember <laughs> this one. And I'm so sorry again. We have warned you. And um, this is Norwegian Christmas welcome. It's uh, Norwegian Christmas dinner and welcome to this. Three dishes we're gonna go through and we're gonna explain the story of all of them. And during Christmas you have nothing to do, don't miss out on our videos. We have more than 100 videos, edutainment videos about Norway. You're gonna laugh and you're gonna cry and you're gonna get to learn a lot of things. Mostly cry. Just subscribe, push the bell and set and your settings. all notifications yeah, so, yeah, on. Yeah, all notifications like on. Yeah. Oh, share, share, share. He has to drink before this Christmas starts. Well, that's what we do during Christmas and all the other days around. Okay, then the first uh, beautiful Christmas dinner story from Norway. It's going to be about one of your favorite foods, uh, you Norwegian Americans or Swedish Americans or oh, Scandinavian Americans. It's you Kringla. Love. Mm -hmm. Kringla. Kringla. Lefse. It's not Lefse, it's not Kringla, but it's one of your fa uh, favorite. This first one is uh, fish. You know, fish is important to know when we actually eat fish uh, uh, during Christmas uh, time. It's not fresh, really it's not. So this is the story about one of our meals called zombie fish. Zombie fish? <laughs> zombie fish. I'm Norwegian, I've no. never heard about zombie fish. You know what? Fish. It starts with a, a, a full alive cod, a big cod like this. Krang. And what you do after you have uh, uh, finished it, it and gutted it and everything that, you hang it, hang it up for dry and it dries for like uh, three, four months. And I mean, it's really, really dead. Jeez. Yes, we have to dried, let things uh, yeah, 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 dry, dried cod, dried fish. We like to stock eat a fish, rotten stock stuff. a fish. Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's dried, and you think, well, dry fish is good. But n you know what we want to do for Christmas? We want to uh, make it alive and kicking again. What? This dead, dried cod that has been dead for let's say four or five months. How is the cod's feeling? Yeah, right we don't know. But now we are going to, and for Christmas we're going to wake it up. And what you need is this. This is caustic soda ash. You know the things that you put in your drain if it's uh, dense and you cannot get water through it. Show it, us. It's very strong and I have to be very careful. And you place the dried uh, cod up here. And then you what? and you need a lot to uh, have it. Uh, Is there some kind yeah. of reaction there? Yeah, and and you leave it in this uh, stuff for uh, maybe two, three, four days. The dead uh, cod, the dried up dead cod, has to lay here. Oh, my mouth's missed up a gold. Ah. 
Nej, vet du vad? Jag orkar inte det med det här på en måte. Nu har nu har du också kärstiksoda på golvet. Det överlägger ju golvet. Are you going to eat no, this? Nej, men att nu det här känns helt liksom skummet. Jag vill inte ha det på henne. And uh, I will probably die from the infusion of this. Can you have a drink? <coughs> have It's me. Nej, men What are you doing? Uh, I'm trying to save myself. This was too strong. This is what we eat. This is lutefisk. Uh, or you can see zombie jellyfish. Look at this. Delicious. Delicious. This is a, a zombie fish. How does it taste? And and you have to be careful because later on <laughs> have you it will tasted? come. I have tasted it. It tastes almost nothing, so you have to add bacon and uh, vegetables and so on. But this is a favorite in Norway, and I know this is a favorite in US too. Zombie fish, or for some of you, loot the fish. Okay, guys, what are you eating for your Christmas Eve dinner? What is that meal? That you all need to have on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day yeah, to come into the right. Yes, yes, yes we, we want to know to yeah. because this is nothing that we can uh, survive on, and this is something that I really, I eat it, but it's like uh, I'm afraid that I will wake up uh, dead. Alive, or if you understand. ER. I, I feel that if I eat this, I will become a zombie too. Have a taste. No, sorry. <coughs> It's killing me. The air, the caustic soda. <sighs> okay. What you do for Zombie art. fish. What you uh, do for yeah, the yeah, art. Yeah, yeah. Zombie fish is uh, dish no, uh, uh, meal number one for Christmas Eve in Norway. And then... We go over to one, actually this is one of the favorite in Norway. And you have to go to the woods and you have to pick up a lot of twigs. We always have to go to the woods. Of course, everything we do is in Norway is uh, connected to the woods and nature. And then you have your twigs and then you... What's the word? I say peel it. You have to peel it better than me, for sure. You need some twigs. Yeah, it has to come with a lot of work. To uh, of be course, eaten. of course. You cannot eat anything. If this is the new, no, new Nordic cuisine. You know, you've heard about it. It's really uh, work for uh, yeah. living. So this is the base for uh, meal number two: twig meat, and uh, then we come to the most important meat in Norway when it comes to Christmas. <coughs> <coughs> it's not bull or cow. Pig, I know. Pig, I know. yes, we have one pig dish that is really pig ribs. It's really, really popular. But this one here and the next one is based on old uh, dried up fat sheep. So here you place this and this is the ribs of an old fat sheep. It's probably committed suicide just yeah, walking, yeah, yeah, yeah. walking Pro by a cliff. And you place the, the ribs of the old sheep bah, and it's really, really old. You have water on it like this. And, and uh, water, twigs and meat. And then you <clears throat> place it on the stove. Oh, Jesus, stove. what a smell. And you just season it a little bit. Wow. Oh. And uh, uh. and you let uh. and you let it uh, cook for many hours on the twigs. Why do we have to torture ourselves? Yeah. So there's meal number two. This stinks worse than the caustic soda. Yeah. And then to the final me meal. And I'm so sorry, guys. And, and if you have if you have a weak heart, please don't watch this, because uh, okay, that one was a real uh, fest festival. It was a really celebration. Uh, the thing that we are going to eat now or prepare now is uh, uh, what can I say? Uh, you have to be. You have you. You need a drink with twigs in it. Okay. Cheers for. Mm. Uh, it was nice knowing you. Yeah. The next meal 
is and I'm uh, Mats. <laughs> what is this? I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, uh, okay. <clears throat> So, for the third dish, and um, um, please be warned, be warned, it's called Smala Hove. It's the sheep's head. It's sm <coughs> <coughs> it's smoked and it's burnt and and it's you see the tongue over there and the small little it's sheep. it's chopped in two yes so this is a, a, a festive meal and here is the other part of the poor sheep <laughs> I, I think this one <laughs> they split it yeah, in the bread they split is it, it brother and sister or the same uh, can you imagine this can be uh, on the or le let them kiss. Let them kiss. Yeah, but it's 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 very narcissistic because yeah, it's hold a, them up in profile. Yeah, no, let them kiss. But it's very narcissistic because it's it's the same. Uh, it's the same. They are in love with it itself because actually this is the sheep's head. Where is the brain? The brain is taken out. That's the opposite. But here you can see the tongue, and you can see the teeth, mm. and when you boil it and. I don't have I'm not brave enough to do that just now the eyes will pop out and actually uh, the best meat the best meat and I'm not joking now the the cheek meat over here it's really it's really lovely Mats and all Is of you it? have a taste uh, it, have yeah, a yeah. taste no 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 come uh, on I have, have a no, taste I have not cooked it so I'm not eating it raw and we eat Absolutely everything. The tongue oh, is a delicacy. We, we don't. It's just for like much competition. No, no, no. For a lot of people, and the meat that you will find under here, this meat here is really a delicacy. And then. What's that? I'm going to take out the eye. What? Oh, Jesus or, uh, Christ. Uh, in Norway, this is what you do in the end, and the brave ones, and they are bragging about it, and it's a competition. It comes with a lot yeah. of alcohol. Yeah, of course, but who wants the eye? And it's not so easy. Okay, oh, there it is. Have a bite. And then, um... Although it looks disgusting, the way we cook the food is about preserving the ingredients. <laughs> and then you try to be brave. Now you can update your social uh, media profile. And so that they last throughout the long, dark, and very cold winter. And it all ends up. Harry, Merry Christmas! And this is what a lot of Norwegians do before Christmas. This is how we get into the right Christmas food. Now, You're not mood. a Norwegian. And this is Christmas food from Norway. It's a sad story. Guys, if you have survived this, you are brave, you are Vikings. I'm not sure if we can record any more video because I have to go to the toilet and puke and vomit. And for the lovely Christmas holiday, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Remember to subscribe, Ooh, like, share, do everything. Subscribe, share everything and we love you and we hope you survive the Christmas. Bye bye. <laughs>